Um, on Saturday, my boyfriend and I were just on the beach um, and we heard the lifeboat station opening up. So we thought, oh, they've got a call um, and started watching. We've never seen it come out before. Yeah. Um, we we saw there was a group of fishermen sort of pulled up gutting fish on the shore. Um, and as the boat sort of station opened up, we heard the fishermen sort of start shouting things like, don't bring any more of those home. We're full up. Uh, that's why we stopped our donations and that kind of really horrible stuff. It was really upsetting and sort of you could hear the hatred in their voice. Um, and then so the lifeboat crew pulled the boat out and were going to sort of take like, well, I don't know what the word is, go into the water. Yeah. And um, some of the fishermen deliberately came out with their buckets and stood directly sort of in the line of the boat so that the boat couldn't be put into the water. Are you sure? Um I'm absolutely sure the police were called. Oh my um, I've days. got a video of it. That would be all over the Daily <laughs> um, Mail story like well, that, wouldn't it? We, we, we were thought, my boyfriend and I thought to ourselves, shall we share this video? Yeah. But I thought I'd rather not, but just in case any sort of right-wing groups get hold of it and say, everyone else do this. Heroes. This is a great idea. <laughs> Heroes. Yeah, <laughs> and you'd think, the fish, you think, you'd think the fishermen would be happy after Brexit delivered such amazing bonuses well, to their lives, wouldn't you? you good old is, Uncle Nigel making everything is, better for them. This is what we discussed afterwards. We mm. said that I think that the fish... You, there's a horrible thing to hear and see. The fishing community have been stirred up so much by the likes of Nigel Farage and Brexit and all that that it's, it's no wonder they feel the way they so do. When, yeah, well, it's when do they actually be... start getting cross with the people that have sold them the <laughs> yes. mother of all pups instead of getting cross with exactly. defenceless people risking drowning? It's incredible. It's the people, so the volunteers. Yeah. The RNLI, I discovered quite recently, but almost all volunteers. I think everyone on the crew... Yeah. Is a volunteer. I mean, this is the yeah. definition of bravery, and yet there yeah. they are, gutting their fish and whining. Yeah. Luckily, fortunately, there was a couple of other people who were watching it at the same time as us, and we could hear them saying sort of what we were saying, like, what do you expect them to drown? You know, it was... Well, that is why... <laughs> it was, I, I, at least I, I, it reminded us that yeah. we're not the only ones that are sympathising. Well, and does anyone answer yes to that question in public? <laughs> I mean, they do it on the no. comment sections, but... Yeah. But well, we, this is what upset me the most. I've never heard... In my sort of, maybe I'm in an echo chamber, but I've of never course. heard anyone brazenly, openly, unashamedly so racist out loud yeah. that they're shouting it at a crew of volunteer life, lifeboat people. Um, it it was just, it really incredible. shook us to the core, and we thought of it yesterday night like, when we saw the news of that people have passed away again. And and I don't know what those men who maybe quietly, privately, when they're not in a group, maybe they feel a bit of shame at, at what they do when the. When the mood takes them, maybe they sit and watch the news last night and think, crikey, you know, I, I, maybe next time I see the RNLI going out, I'll wind my neck in a bit. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they do quietly, internally celebrate the death, as I'm sure many, many do. And, you know, I don't want to pick on the fishermen, although that is obviously who Zoe witnessed doing this. I, I, I'm thinking of newspaper columnists and political figures and politicians who have created an environment in which it is almost inevitable that people celebrate death, celebrate the death of other human beings. 